John Papke shares new details from inside the courtroom. Last month, Brandi Duncan lost her husband and best friend. Larry Duncan was caught in the deadly crossfire in Birmingham's Lakeview District. Their 10-year-old son still texts his father's phone. I read, get his phone and I look at it. Dad, I had a good day at school. Dad, I miss you. I know you with God. Tell Grandma hello. Today, Duncan was in tears as Detective Jeff Miller testified about the morning Larry was killed. Duncan's cousin Ryan Johnson is charged with the murder. He was with Larry Duncan when he got into an argument with a city sanitation worker. The detective said two different guns were fired and they were unsure which one killed Larry Duncan. What do you say about the fact that he left the fight to retrieve a gun and come back and open fire? I mean, obviously there was a tense situation. If he had not had that gun, he would have been dead. Detective Miller says they've looked at security video from between four and five Lakeview District businesses. He says they show Johnson going to get the gun out of his car before returning and opening fire on city workers, one of which was shot five times. As right now, it could have been the city workers bullet that killed Mr. Duncan. We don't know that yet. So, I mean, you know, I said he was wrongfully charged. I believe I'm right about that. And the victim's own wife does not blame her cousin for her husband's killing. I don't hold him responsible. I don't hold the death on him at all. The judge found enough evidence to send the case against Johnson to the grand jury. In Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.